<laughs> what a jump shot into side. Not scared to gamble either, constantly calling people out. So he's moved it a little bit to the right, not going down the centre like a, a few of the others. Let's see how he goes from here. Scratches. Yeah, that's bad. He didn't even get a kick there, so that's a that's a bad, has to go down as a bad break. And when you when you're uh, holding your serve against SVB, you got to make sure that your break's on point. So maybe just uh, finding the right line there. I don't see anything difficult, Jake. You know, I really don't don't see anything difficult either. shot here is going to be from the three to the five. Three to the five, you say? I think so. Yeah, I like that. How do you so, like to get on this? Do you want to go low or do you want to stay high on it? Well, you know, once he moves this two ball out of the way, depending on how he gets positioned on the three, he should be able to... I mean... I think he'll come below it. Uh, yeah. I don't know if he's got the angle to hold high, you see, or whether he just yeah, goes one rail and back out. So this is the key. We'll be able to tell where he leaves himself here after he after he pots the two ball. Looks like he's he's drawing low, so yeah, he's going to come low on the on the three. Just don't blame oh, him there. Look at this. I mean, I the nine's big here. The nine's huge. I think he'll just come two rails. Uh, I think he'll spin underneath. Pass the six, maybe? Spin underneath? Yeah. Yeah. That works. Mm, that'll do. A little unfortunate to take away the uh, take away the six there because that would have been a far easier positional shot. Now he's got a drift across the table. And there's some danger there. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is... I mean, obviously, it's Shane, so... He's going to figure the way out, but I almost think he's got to come all the way down. Yeah, okay, we're, we're going to get tired of saying it soon. Oh, it's Shane. <laughs> ah, it's Shane. Ah, it's Shane. You see him look down there. He just looked down there on the first time. He just pointed. He's looking to come under the seven because there's a lot. It's really the only way that's that's got no options to scratch. If he tries to hit a lot of inside here and come like come in through the nine you can scratch in the side so the best play is to come all the way down table between the eight and nine if he doesn't like the inside there's the four railer too oh and you could go that way as well using outside instead of inside english it looks like that's what he's going to do this is the the raj hunder like all this loves a four railer he's to miss the middle oh and he he's missed to make it. the he's to, he's to make the part maybe he was playing safe no an early an early miss and Ryan's really got to make him pay for that because you're not going to see that too many times. Yeah, it was, it was really tough what you said about putting the six ball down. <clears throat> Made it uh, increasingly more difficult to, to get position on the seven. Yeah, yeah, it was unfortunate. But maybe I don't think I don't think he fully made his mind up there. He, he seemed betwixt and between. Yeah, I didn't like the outside like that because there's so much traffic coming through. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, you, you see how thin he hit it. He actually overcut it. I think he'll just juice this up with a lot of inside. Wow, he didn't even hit it. Didn't even take. You could see off the rail. Yeah, I don't. I don't like it on a new cloth using that much inside. I'd much rather spin it around. 
Especially from that distance. Yeah. Still, uh, still makeable ball. Not easy. Oh yeah, it's very makeable. I mean, I might even try the bank just because of. Uh, yeah, if you if you hit it short, he's calling it too. He's calling the bank. Yeah, I actually like this because he can get shape on the eight. If yep. he ends up coming up short, if the speed is right, he's going to leave him on a long rail. Correct. So there's more upside to, to play the bank here. And uh, the nine ball is big too. If he screws underneath the uh, draws underneath the nine ball, you see that. And if he missed it, wow, he was, he was what good. a shot! But yeah, really nice speed there. See, the nine was a blocker if, in case he missed it. Yeah, very smart play by McCreesh. Yeah, nicely done. Not, not much to do here. He can just uh, roll this forward a little bit if he likes. Take the cut inside. On the nine. A little bit jabby, mate. A yeah, little bit jabby. Uh, Might be a little bit of tension in the arm. Maybe hasn't had a, a game of this magnitude for a while. Yeah, I, I would have liked just... I didn't think that that was neat. I think you could have just rolled it a little bit forward. Still, you can cut this in the side. I'm going to try to slide the cue ball a little. There you go. Perfect. I mean, he won his first match quite comfortably. He won 9 0, so we know he's in good punch. Looks like he ran over his opponent totally. Well, you definitely want to be stepping into the box uh, with a, a 9 0 win on your previous match. Not the game two. Rafael Debreo and Michael Ortiz up next uh, in the schedule. Not on the TV table, but I'm just looking at the schedule on the side. I don't think I've ever seen uh, Ortiz play. How, how does he play? Yeah, he plays very well. Yeah. Yeah. Big break by Shane, but Whammy. no look. No luck, no look. I wonder if he jumps this. I know Fedor will be jumping. <laughs> <laughs> what a great team Qtech have got now, eh? <laughs> They've just what? got an unbelievable team of players. Oh, yeah. I don't know if the if the jump is uh, even advantageous though, given where the three ball sits. I don't know that I like that. Well, with the angle, it's kind of it's it's going to drift down towards the rack, and yeah. any, anywhere in the this quarter of the table on the lower lower right hand side, you've got a shot of the you've got a shot of the three. But yeah, he's uh, he is checking up. He's got his break you out. Funny enough. You know, it's funny, we saw in the exhibition last night when he was playing Shane Wolford, there was a couple times that he did jump full cue. Yeah, with his playing cue, right? <clears throat> yeah, he uses a very hard tip. I think he uses the how, how hard tip. I've, uh, I've certainly jumped balls with, uh, with my break cue in a pinch, but I don't think I prefer it. <laughs> Really studying. Um, I really, think, really I studying. think you gotta kick this, right? Well, it is the break off, remember? So oh, he can he has, push. He has the push, so he's really studying where he can leave this, and maybe he'll just push down to down to that diamond. So he's not going to leave him a shot because the one ball doesn't go by the five, as we look. So maybe he's just going to tempt him. He's going to say. Come and have a go. I think you're hard enough. He was he was looking at uh, leaving him that one five combo. He's gonna pull a push, and make the ten, leave the cue ball down here on the bottom row, and use the ten as a blocker on the one. For the jump. No, I don't like that. Uh, no. <laughs> he just lined up for it a second ago. Oh my god. He had to. Certainly, McCreesh would be giving that back. Yeah, he would be. I mean, if he can, make, he can make the ten, no doubt. But he's not going to leave it in front of the cue ball. One hundred percent. That would have been suicide. So he's left the left the one five on. If 
I don't like that, mate. It's yeah, so I don't like it from that distance either. So much distance. <clears throat> it's not as if... If the five was closer to the pocket, maybe. Sure. But where it's quite, you know, it's a diamond out. But I think he has, a, he has some really good safety options here. Play this up and down and bring the cue ball behind the five. I like that shot. Yeah, I like that. That's the next thing we need, uh, Josh. I need to be able to draw on the screen. Can you, do oh, that? Can you do that for me? I feel like I'm hearing an echo. <laughs> I didn't hear nothing. What are you all talking about? <laughs> do it. Do it. <clears throat> Yeah, and more and more I look at this, I, I do like your shot. I like playing that up and uh, and trying to hide the cue ball behind the five. The way he's set up, I feel like he's trying to make it up. No, he played, he played that shot, but probably the angle that I saw was different. But that's really nice. What good, wow. what good speed that is. And this makes it a very difficult return with both, both cue ball and ob object ball tight to the rail. This does not make this uh, return easy at all. Wow, great shot. It doesn't want to stop. Stop, stop, stop. Wow. There's a little spin shot there, definitely. I think if he can see half of the ball, he can make this. I don't know if anybody at home tilts their head as well. <laughs> ah, Rich. How you doing, Rich? What Rich is that? Must be in the UK. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, mate. Schultz, Birmingham, you, you, you confused me there with Birmingham. Yeah, Rich Schultz out of uh, Atlanta, right? I like that someone said uh, Ryan McCreesh has the beard to hold his cue steady. <laughs> oh, he could see, he could see all the ball, wow. Yeah, he could see that all. And he got behind that perfectly. Oh, Sean. Yeah, it was a great shot. Ah, uh, Birmingham, Alabama, that's fine. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, he does cue right through his beard, doesn't he? You can just see that on the corner. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you take us back to camera four. It's almost as if, yeah. You can see the part. <laughs> that's a hell of a beard, I'll give him that. Uh, good old Ryan Rumble Stiltskin McCreesh. Rumble Stiltskin. <laughs> I feel like he's been playing forever. Yeah. Play, plays at the Expo a lot as well, right? The Expo has obviously been cancelled, but I always see him in action. That's where I first met Ryan. Yes, yeah, so you, it's so tough because he's got this angle. I mean, if he was straight in, it would be dead perfect to roll up for the four. I still like the angle. I still like because the, the cloth is going to be, it's going to grip this. So, is he trying to bump the four here? Yeah, that's a that's a nasty play if you're bumping this ball. Or is he trying to just? Yeah, he bumped it. Oh, look it at worked that. out. Perfect. That worked out. Thanks for coming. That's all she wrote in this one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, very nicely done. Cold cuts of the bar, Jake. Oh. Yes. We'll be gone in a moment. Oh my God, I thought you overcut that then. He's very measured when you see him at the table, Ryan. Doesn't rush, does he? Doesn't get overexcited. Plenty of chalking. Won't play the shot until he's absolutely ready. He 
won't be afraid of SVB. He's been on the circuit just as long. Yeah, I don't believe so. He will not be afraid of anyone. He reminds me of one of those guys that hangs around in the green room at a big tournament and when the players are finished down in, in the tournament, there's a bit of action going on in the players' room. I mean, not many people get the opportunity to play the number one player in the United States. No, this is it. I find myself very fortunate that Shane's been over to the UK a few times. We've been lucky enough to host him in one of our poor halls. As well as the numerous times he comes to New York. We're sure. Very, very, very fortunate to play a lot of players there. So it's a, it's a very transient hub for pool players coming from all over the world through New York and into, yeah. into the States. You guys have a, a lot of great pool rooms up there. Yeah, we do. We're very fortunate, very lucky. I'm glad they all survived the pandemic as well. It does have a kind of an unorthodox stroke, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a bit of a kink there, isn't there? Yeah. But it works for him. Yeah. Mo most people would say that's the yips. But it, the, the difference is, you see the little the little short, stabby strokes there? What, what matters is he delivers the cue straight. Sure. Cl delivers it and uh, delivers a good follow-through, too. Before. <laughs> oh, look, Ryan Oshish McCreesh. Oh, sheesh. That's kind of good. I like that. He's moved his brake, so you can see he's just moved over to the right side now, and he's a little bit below the brake spot. So there you see he's avoided the scratch that he had in the first rack. But looks like he's come up dry. Yeah. No good. Four railer didn't get there. No, so he's going he's gonna to have to make another adjustment, sadly. Throws the brake cloth off in disgust. Now Shane has the opportunity. We won't want to let this one go. Shane, the uh, obvious favorite for the competition this weekend. The only problem with that, paints a big target on your back. Yeah, it does. See on Shane's shirt there, never refuses a sponsor. Littered, littered with patches. Hey, when you're number one. Yeah, Boy Scout will be proud of those. Exactly. <laughs> of course, Shane now up to number three in the world as well. Yeah, in the world rankings, as well as he's always been number one in the Fargo for the last two, three years, right? Yeah, Is he 829 now or something? So he's definitely over 820. 829, I'm Trying think. to pull it up now so we can uh, see what the difference between him and McCreesh I didn't even is. see the yellow. I didn't even see the, the nine ball there. It's <laughs> no, I didn't either. It's hidden in the rack. <laughs> Is he a little straight here? Yeah, I think he needs to draw and come on and off the rail. Nice shot. Again, you saw that rack stayed laser straight. You see that? The rack didn't even move. And he was playing draw on that, so... I know they look cumbersome, but they certainly have some weight behind them.
to give Ryan the six out for a bit. <laughs> Are you trying to go again? Yeah, Shane, look. He's breaking from that same spot that Ryan just went dry from, and I hate to say it. Dry. Is that a dry SVB break? Yes, it is. Hmm. He's going to... Steep. Steve needs... Do we want him to just be out there in the ring for this match? For, I mean, if I was a tournament director, I would be. <laughs> right? <laughs> should just uh, give him a little nudge. Might not set a good precedent, though, but whatever. <laughs> That's a good thing about doing what you want to do. That's it. McCreesh uh, back at the table. Man, a wide open table, too. It is wide open. Um, and it's a chance for him to turn the screw a little. I know it's very early on in this match, but it will play, it will pay dividend. I to get as close to the rail here as possible because I don't like leaving an angle on this. I prefer to leave an angle where I can shoot and stun the cue ball over towards the five. Yeah. Just play this one as soft as I could. Yeah, just, just hug the rail. You hug know? the rail, yep. yeah, like he's looking. I think you can pump it across then for the five. Are you like pumping it in between the seven and the nine? Uh, even even before the nine. Yeah. You know, just to avoid any big traffic. Like, like that. Oh, that's. Um, we might have to cheat it a little now. Yeah, it just came out a little too far, I think. Shot. Tough shot there, but it was definitely uh, the way that he finished. I think it limited his options. Yeah, a little, little, a little like hitch. A little He's got a hitch. Yeah. Yeah. A little hitch, but yeah, it didn't, doesn't seem to deviate the cue ball at all. This is a shot now because ideally he wants to come below the below the seven and play it in the side pocket. Man, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like to be, a, oh yeah, below, yeah. I'd like to be the left side of this, of this seven. Just so I could, you know, even if I fall short, I've got three railer. Yeah, that's a nice shot. That's actually perfect. Uh, Very yeah. nicely done. You can, you can come to the lower side of the eight now. Doesn't need to do too much. Just avoid the scratch. And the uh, the eight will take him naturally to the nine. Are you going? Uh, are you going one rail with inside? Or are you are three you Z's, baby? You're three Z's. This three rails. Three Z's, maybe four Z's. Wow. Wow. 
Oh. Oh, don't hit that. the nine. You don't want to do that. He really shortened up. I mean, and uh, I think we're going to have to look at look at the next time he has a power shot. Let's try and watch his body if we can, because he's really swinging up on 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 the table there. Yeah. And it took all of the pa all of the pace out of the cue ball mm. because it was almost like an upswing rather than transferring all of the power from the cue to the cue ball. Just caused him to shorten up on the wrong line there. That's going to work. I think that might work if it stops. No, this is makeable. And there's no scratch where the nine ball is. So I feel like Shane's going to go for this. Definitely come off the, t come off the back rail enough for this to be a makeable shot. Just has to be careful of the side pocket. May even bank it. Is he banking this? No. Wow. Yeah, you see the nine ball there just gave him some insurance on the, the long scratch. Yeah, he didn't get rewarded very well. No love. I like I like the safety there. Cozy the cozy the nine up behind the ten and take the cue ball two rails in the back. I think this is natural to bring the uh, bring the nine into the ten ball here. Oh, over! Oh God, what a bounce that got! That's what he was trying to do, but that really leaked out. Hit it way too thick. We might be being a bit overcritical of Shane, but when you're the best in the world. Yeah, it's 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 tough, right? Yep. When you're at the top. Yep. You're going to be criticized yeah. on every minute piece. Anything less than perfect gets criticized, yeah. Correct. Everybody literally came to this side of the room. Yeah, let's look at his body English. I wonder if he... Let's see if he stays down on this. That's going to be the, the differentiator. You know, I just mm. picked up on something right there. Look at the roll he's getting. He's getting all the roll, too. That doesn't last forever. It doesn't. It will swing both ways, and Shane is going to get his, uh, his fair share in this race to nine. Well, what I noticed there when uh, McCreesh took that shot is that he did not there was a very short follow through uh -huh. so on, on the come through it was very very punchy as well mm -hmm. and uh i think that's what happened when he hit that that three railer when he tried to swing it through he's just not coming through the ball i think he'll go to the side rail just because the scratch is too big maybe you can see this can we see the overhead yeah maybe you can see the fine edge which one? Yeah, he, oh, he's, he's called it. Oh, he's trying to bank this, you know. Yeah. I think that's he can see just enough for the bank. I don't know. That's ridiculous. I don't think there's anywhere near <laughs> he, That's ridiculous. You can't get enough pace into it. Well, the table's rolling fast. Maybe that's what he's thinking about. Oh, okay. So he's going to he's gonna kick into it. Okay. I thought he was going to play like the, uh, the one pocket bank shot. He's still standing there shaking his head. He's, he still doesn't love it. He called the other pocket. Oh, he's now he's... Now he's going to go one rail at it. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big, uh, it's a big decision. This one, uh, you know, three one versus two, you know, versus two two. Sure. wasn't it and he yeah. was on the temple too perfectly <laughs> oh man wow how do you got to hit it he's got to be wondering what he has to do to get this in right now still though let's have a nice look at this ryan hasn't uh, been too sure on the long on the long game so now he's just looking where his bridge wants yeah, watch watch his follow through here has to be clean 
See, it's, it's almost non-existent. Yeah, that made it very stabby, a bit stabby. That's why the cue ball barely moved, but didn't really need to get the cue ball that, back that far here. Oh, no. And that's what cost him. A little bit of swerve to the right. He saw his body move. And Shane will be having... Yep, thanks for the reprieve. Big facts on that one. 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that's a big swing there. Top it was, but... That's uh, it's just because Mercurius uh, used the, uh, the regular rack. And so he's probably just saying to... Uh, to Ryan, you know, you got to make sure that you ask, you know. Yeah. It's okay if you want to use a regular rack. If both players are using it, you know. Yeah. So they get choice, right? So Shane can still use the template if he wants? Shane has been using the template. All right. Nice what love bump. Cut. Oh, look, look at from this. From one side pocket to the other. Oh, I thought he was about to get him. <laughs> if the ten, if a, if the two doesn't go by the ten, this is going to be a nasty safety. If it goes, then it's a good jelly roll. playing safe here I think so I'm a fan of that especially if it doesn't go if it goes then I've got you you've got to imagine he's gonna take it I think you're just worried about the cue ball right now So it definitely doesn't go, so he might be cutting it. I wonder if it cuts into the uh, into the lower left as we look. Yeah, it's, it's tough too. I mean, he's just going to let the cue ball go and hope for the best, I guess. Come off the ten and scratch on the other side. It's, it's definitely an option, but he's under hit that one. Because the jump now is only a half ball jump. I don't know how well Ryan jumps, but maybe he'll just kick at this. Yeah. He's one of the purists. It's not going to cut it there. I think there's a window in the side pocket. I think there might be. I think there might be half a pocket. for it. But remember, uh, Ooh, Shane's nice called out Skylar Woodward. Yes. And I think uh, <clears throat> you know Sky's best game is on the bar box. Yeah, matter of fact, uh, I think Shane said, uh, if I win, you got to cut that, uh, cut that mullet. <laughs> Would it be live? A live culling? <laughs> I believe so. I mean, how else would you do it? I would definitely do it live. Yeah. Buzz cut. For sure. Right down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. I mean, Sky, you know, Sky's probably arguably the best bar table player in the United States, as they say. And uh, he definitely showed his chops against Dennis Orcolo, who is probably one of the best money players in the game. Pound for pound, for sure. Say is. Yeah, and uh, I think there's a rematch now. Shane and uh, Orcolo coming up soon. There is. Bet your house on Shane. 
No, don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> I think in the I think in the long races. I mean, you know, I do like Shane. Remember did last time? A, did you just call the nine? I think so. I remember the last time they went one nineteen to one nineteen. I know. And Dennis was like thirty behind last time. That must have been a killer. I even thought uh, Sky was going to pull away. It looked like he was he was running far away uh, at the start of that match with Dennis, and uh, Dennis did did pull it back. But I would love I, well, I would love to see the uh, the Shane Sky match. I would too. I think that's going to happen. I think it will happen. I tried to get Sky to come here. But, uh, yeah, he was already committed to Florida. Yeah, Florida then straight to the matchroom event. Yeah, Billy, right? <laughs> oh, Ryan McCree showing with his headphones on now. Are, are we allowing over the ear headphones? Headphones are no, headphones, no, uh, right? No, there's nothing in the rule that says no headphones. So now he's he's potted a ball illegally. So yeah, it's he's... Shane's option. He's yeah, <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> That's a quick decision, wasn't it? Wonder how steep the angle is there. He's having to kick at it, okay. He, he maybe just can't see the edge of it either. Great kick. Cause some separation too. Stuck it up. Yeah, not gonna like that. Advantage, SVB. travel a bit. I think you're going to have to come underneath the temple now. Oh, wow. Come around the back of it. I think it's natural, though, so it's not really a danger, I don't think. He chose to come above it, play it with inside rather than outside. now for Shane Van Boning extends or jumps out to the lead here three to two Russ. Van Boning at the table to break that's what we're more accustomed to see him but I don't think he's found the line yet he had a couple where he, and that's another another dry one Maybe needs to figure that one out a little bit more. I think he has a fine edge here, so he does have the opportunity to get a good safety here rather than a push out. And create some good separation, get the cue ball in behind the six, maybe the three there as well. We see the two and the five also affords a little bit of defensive opportunity. I think, uh, okay, that's where he pushed. He's pushed into, into a jump or a swerve. He pushed into a swerve, that was very unorthodox. 
It does feel very, very sloppy actually. Shane should play for the two in the side. That probably affords best best shape down to the three. Yeah, it gets a little bit easier after this. Uh, four ball by the corner pocket, five out in the middle. Everything uh, looks pretty good. Six ball on the rail. Five to the six is where it's at, I think. Sure. Just making sure he gets the right side of the right side of the five. Just going to come middle of the table now. I oh, was able oh, to get a shot. lot of gear on it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> Ideally, we'd like to take this in the side pocket, but I don't know if he's got the angle to hold it. Oh, he just did. Oh, he, can, he can play it long too, actually. Wow. May come the short side of the, the six and play it long. To hold for the seven. Yeah, he's certainly got the, the angle to get over there. I like it. Yeah, the play there, I think, is to play long. <laughs> Avoid any traffic with the ten ball, nine ball. Wow, he tried to... Yeah, oh. look at the roll, though, baby. The yeah. roll's coming back at him. It's very weird why he played it that way. I don't know why he wouldn't just punch it over for the, for the short side. Maybe he didn't want to play past the middle pocket. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think with the six ball being off the rail, though, it's... Uh, yeah, it was makes makeable, it, right? Yeah, it makes it a little bit easier of a shot. Yeah. Ryan McCreesh asking... Uh, if he has the option, but he doesn't because the uh, ball didn't go down. Yeah, he would have wanted to give this one back, right? Another good kick, though. I don't think it's, yeah, it's going to sell out. Well. Oh, no, it's actually not too bad. He has to make the combo on the 10. Now he has to be careful where the cue ball goes as well because the 10 will respot. I think he's uh, he might have to go on and off the rail here. Nicely played. Smart. But has overrolled it a bit. Yeah, he did. Yeah, now he's gonna have to really slow it. Maybe play this with a bit of drag. Or inside just to hold the cue ball off the end rail. Dale, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be coming up next. Uh. Oh man, the Highlander back in action. Back in action. I'll do my best, guys. Represent the BSM Media team. That's Heck right. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you like? You like uh, cutting this in the bottom right? Yeah. I mean, he may go four rails, you know, just because it allows him to let his stroke out. Look at this. I mean, look at it. If he didn't want it before, he wanted it now. He's like, give me a reprieve, people. All right, I'll leave you there, guys. All right, Dale. Good luck. Get him. See you later. See you. Dale Sim, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely drains it. I think it is. Let's get down a bit. Yeah. Oh. Shane Van Boning goes up four to two. On Ryan McCreesh. Shane hits this killer shot here. Slices it in. Four rails for position on the six. One, two, three, four. And he slices the six all the way down to the great pool rooms across the United States. Just 
So big break there. And dry again. Two, three. Yeah, it comes up dry. Rack is muddled down here in the middle, you can see. Got a lot of work to do here. You see one, one doesn't have a pocket, it's got a one, two. If he wants the attack, up to combo. Play safe here if he likes. Try to put him on the two ball. I oh, played it nicely. Take a look at this overhead view here. You see the four ball got him a little bit. Tries to kick it. And just ran into everything on the way to open it back up. Yeah, not, you know, he's going to give McCreesh a shot here. But again, you got the 10, the 7, the 6 all down there. So there's some work to do there. He tried bumped, to open it yeah, up. he bumps a seven out, but look what happens here, Josh. He's not going to get the leave on the three ball. And, uh, you know, that was, uh, that was the part of the problem. He's going to be kicking at this. Oh, he tried to kick at one rail. Didn't go. But. Look at all those balls lined up in a straight row. Yeah. It's not an easy shot either. You know, he's, he's queued up over the four ball. Yeah, this, uh... He's got to play safe here. Uh, he, he just wants to feather this three a little bit. Try to use the ten and the seven. Unless he wants to swing it all the way around. He can swing it up, up table. Uh, is he going to get there? Well, four's in the way. Yeah. Ryan, Ryan can go rail first here and, and with some spin. He'd be a little outside spin. Just like that hits nice. it beautiful. Like thread of the needle is going to get perfect on this. It's perfect shape on the four. So now you got to be careful here with the four because you, you kind of want to just Punch this to the rail. Oh, wow. He tried to go all the way around. Holy cow. He punched it. <laughs> oh, that's great. What a nice shot. This is the key right here. Five to the six. Yeah, didn't... Uh, he won, he was, I guess he was trying to be under it so he could pocket the six up in that top uh, top uh, right-hand corner pocket. Didn't quite get there. Made a good shot on the five, though. So he's just going to like to play safe. And, uh, yeah, he's got the seven. He's got the seven in the way. Shane's called the six in the side. Oh, he needs that to stop. He needs that to stop. Look at that. Nicely done. Fortune favors the bold. You see a lot of body motion from, uh, from Ryan here. Yeah, he's just, uh, it's just the rolls didn't, are kind of swinging back. Look, he got a couple of them in the beginning. And, uh, you know, Dell was saying that just uh, sometimes they swing back around. He's now called the bottom right-hand corner pocket. 
Oh, and he missed the ball completely. And 10 ball is going to spot. Cue ball control there by Van, Van Boning. Mm. Just connecting the dots now. Van Boning is going to extend his lead 5 2 over McCreesh. And Shane will be breaking. here in Maryland, Bowie, Maryland. At the Dinosphere's Cup 10 ball championship, he leads five to two, breaking against Ryan McCreesh. Nice pop, he's got a ball down, two balls down. He's gonna have a shot on the two. Looks like he does. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like maybe a three ball is in in the way there. That is unfortunate. You like coming underneath the two? Or are you pushing? I, you know, I'm probably not going to come underneath the two here. Uh, us after the breakout, I, I probably would push somewhere. Um, you know, 5-2. Five 5-2, two. Five two, technically, he could probably try to tank this if he wanted to. If it's me personally, you know, I, I might be trying to push to a jump shot here, play the cue ball, maybe one rail up to the to the top, trying to put the 7 or something. You see, he's... I don't know that he would jump that. If, if McCreesh gives his back which I don't know that he will. It's so close to the rail, it's... Well, see, the reason why Shane did that, he pushed a three in there, it makes it difficult. So even if, McCree, even if McCree were to go up and shoot it, and he makes it, there's, you know, no love there on the three ball. So Shane's not even going to try it. He's going to come underneath of it. See, and this is a shot that I was looking at from the beginning. So yeah, what's the difference between it now versus from the push? Well, because you you have the option is still a push, you know, so you don't you're not forced to have to take the shot, and so by now he's tied up the three ball, so now if he takes the shot and he comes in two rails and sends the cube ball the two ball up table, now the three is still kind of muddled with the ten, 
uh, where it wasn't before. So that's why he did it that way. Oh, look at that shot. Uh, he was giving himself a, a bigger wall to hide. He, he was kind of anticipating the second safety. So pushing the three over ensured that he was going to get a better safety, but he didn't get there. shot there by Van Boning. Plays the carom off into the pocket. Does this three still have eyes to the side here? Looks like it does. What an excellent shot by Shane. Well, I mean, this is not easy. I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like this shot, obviously. Oh, he hit a great. Look, and this leads him right to the six, so this actually went perfect. Beautiful shot. side of the seven here so now he's just gonna have to dance with the cue ball a little bit yeah I mean he'll just uh, if he gets right back there he'll just go to the top rail down in Look, well, see how I come right into the shot line perfect and uh, he can go forward with this or he can come back and forth oh look how beautiful that shot was Oh, we got a force follow. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Van Boning, six to two. It looks like he's cruising now. Look at this shot he makes on the two ball. Plays it off the eight into the side pocket. See, it's a thin boom. It's in. It gets down and gets shape on the three right in the side pocket. And he gets out from there. Oh, big break. Four and six ball down. He's got the edge of the one. He just pushes it to the rail. And he's going to leave a look at it for Shane, and it looks like the combo is on. 1-5. Should be queuing over the 10 ball. It's elevated nicely here. Nice shot, five ball down. So, still see the one. See if he decides to play safe here. That's exactly what he did. Another edge of the ball 
that Ryan McCreesh missed. I think it's been three of them so far in this match. Where he was kicking at the ball. He's off to Shane's off to the races. It's just connect the dots. Yeah, you can you can tell whenever he's fully settled in because he has like the one two. I'm shooting. There it is. One two shoot. Yeah, I mean he's 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 hit these shots so many times. We watched him before as he was practicing at home, and uh, just tell he's very poised, very comfortable. Just absolute great cue ball control. Shane extends his lead, seven to two. Van Boning with a chance to extend his lead here. Already leads seven to two. It's race to nine here, alternate the breaks. Oh my, look at the bite on that ball, wow. And four balls down, five ball down. Wow. One close to the pocket, but. Yeah, he's got, a, you know, he's got the one ball by the pocket, but I really don't know if he can see the edge of that. And he can't, so he's just going to go ahead. Push out push out to an easier jump shot, it looks like. And McCreesh is going to go ahead and give it back to him. So Shane's going to go to the air here. Ah, he's, he's pulled out the jump cue. We saw him last night make a few jumps with a full cue. In and out of the pocket, and well, I mean, did get kind of fortunate there. I don't know if I, I guess uh, McCreesh can spin this in. Spin this in for the win. It is. Now McCreesh off to the races. As he picks up the pace, bumps the nine, perfect on the seven. Just uh, draw back or go for it. Oh, look, look at this. Oh, he's going to get good. Got good right there on the eight. Leave himself a little angle on the nine. Perfect. Come right over for the ten. And McCree says, I'm not done yet. Puts one back on the board. You can't stop me. Seven to three now. Wow, cue ball is right in the pocket. Can see the one. Tough shot being jacked up in the corner pocket. 
Ooh. Wow, what a shot there by McCreesh. And absolutely no love on the two ball. Hang on now. I think he can see the two. It's tough. But oh, yeah, he might be able to. You're right. Might be able to come here and see it. Oh, he spun it right uh, in. What a shot. It. Oh, no. But what's next? What's next? Backside of the 10 ball. Just had a little bit too much juice on it. Yeah, just so unfortunate. Now, are you uh, are you risking it for the jump here, or are you going to kick at it? Uh, I mean, I, the I, jump I, leads to the six. I don't, I don't really like the jump shot here. It's a long jump. I mean, he can see the edge of the five. What do you do with the edge? You know, there lies the question. I mean, it depends on how much of it he can see. We're about to see. Use the seven oh, to hold the five oh, and end wow. up on the back side of the seven. I mean. I mean, he got a little fortunate with the way that it, the, that he didn't scratch, but I mean. He's left, he's left Shane a shot here. I think he can see most of the ball. Oh, he's having to move. There we go. He's got that extension on his cue. Yeah, so you see the edge. He's called it down here in the bottom left-hand corner pocket. Uh, the question here if he cuts it down. He's made up his mind. See the side pockets wide open there. Yeah, I mean it was it was a tough shot. Gives the ten a tickle. Threw that one out there for you, Dell, just in case you're watching it back later. Yeah, nice, nice shot by McCreesh. Easier to hold the cue ball going for the corner than taking the side pocket there. Home free now. Two back to back games for Ryan McCreesh. Gets was in the three now. Shane Van Boning still leads seven to four.
cue ball just got beat up right there, didn't it? Oh, wow. Six sits up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dry break. Six wanted to go. Almost looks like he broke from the other side of the table. Like a bad break. <laughs> yeah, it's tough, it's tough here. Quarter. Yeah, it really is. Got two ball and a five ball tied up. Not, I mean, it's not hateful because you can make the five uh, with the two. It really right here is the shot with the one ball. Just got to make sure. Uh, I think he's going to play the carom just. Oh, no. He trying to play him safe. What a shot by Ryan McCreesh. Wow. No, and he opened up the uh, the two five a little better. Van Boney has called it in the side. One, two, three. Three rails, three rails to the one. Oh, he hit it. Three ball drops, so McCreesh will have the option. If he doesn't like the shot, he can give it back to Shane. Sorry, five ball dropped. And uh, McCreese doesn't want to take it on, so he's going to give it back. A little surprising, I think, there. I think change is called the eight. Yeah, of course. you gotta you got to play the combo here. I think Shane was a little confused that he got that back. He was looking at him like, are you sure? Wow, well, just hung up. There. And uh, McCreese is feeling good about not taking that one now. Well, he was probably feeling good the whole time. I mean, look, there's still a lot of work to do in this rack, guys. Uh, two ball, he's got to get down on the bottom rail. Three ball on the rail, four. So, you know, he's going to have to start manufacturing something here. This be the key shot on where he gets at. And you see, he's got to get all the way down. Oh, uh, he might. He might be able to hit it firm enough that he can just blast it open, or? Yeah, well, so now you're, now you're looking at probably a power shot. Yeah. There it is. Nope. Four ball is just rolling so big right now. I think he got it. I think he's okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, cue ball is still spinning. Just stopped. Wow. Out there break dancing. Up on his tippy toes. Let's play four six combo here. He's still ahead of the nine ball. It could yeah. have been. It could have been worse there. Uh, but he's all right. Should be able to cut this. He'll come back down. Oh, he overcut it. I felt like he he flipped his hand like in the middle of his stroke there. Yeah, he overcut that ball. He's shaking his head on the, on the way back to his seat. Oh man. He knows that was a, he knows that was a chance to to really fight back into the match here. Uh, Shane was uh, trying to go three rails in a position, bumps a seven, and uh, there's a nice shot on it. Yeah. Van Boning going to be the first one. To get to the hill, he leads eight to four over Ryan McCreesh. Billiard fabric, big bite there on the break, but he's going to come up dry. This one ball is just hanging outside the pocket there. Yeah, he'll go rail first here. Oh, no. He was, yeah, he's been actually hitting that shot very well where you, you kind of low inside and you just stun the cue ball over and it just spins and spins and spins. He's, I've watched him hit that shot like five times this event from the exhibition and just warming up and stuff, and he's been drilling it, so I'm surprised to see it didn't work there. But he's treetopped right over this 10 ball, but he's got enough room to the side to still work here. 
he had to put so much on that. I feel like uh, you, you had mentioned earlier him standing up on the shot, being a little jumpy. I think it's getting worse right now. Yeah, a little jumpy, uh, a little punchy on the stroke. You know, but this is... There's no telling what my stroke was like. Just the way it is. I mean, Ryan plays really good. I mean, he's just, he's a really, really good player. I mean, he showed us uh, instantly that he's definitely here to play. You know, it's it's a tall order here today for everyone, of course. Number one player in the United States, Shane, is no slouch, of course. Oh, no, that is... Right in the drink. Costly mistake. But look, 275 all tied up there with the eight. But he's got a window. Oh, oh man, gonna is he going to do Is he going to, is he going to, is he going to do this to Van Boning? Is he going to put up, try to put him on two? So Shane's on one. Three, three foul rule is in effect. Judging by how he's setting up for this, he's trying to put this cue ball right on the back side of the eight. And he gets there, and this is, but he's he's left a little bit of a gap between the cue ball and the eight ball. Not a lot of room for error uh, with that four ball there. Four ball is. It's always, uh, it's always a little demoralizing, you know, uh, when you three foul somebody. Oh, he hits it good, but he's got, is he going to scratch now? He's on two. Unbelievable. We're definitely going to see it now. We're definitely going to see McCreese trying to put him on three. He has got to hide the two ball good, though. This two ball has got to go probably all the way up table behind the five and the seven. All right, so judging by this, I think he's going to try to roll him up on the four ball, send the two ball up behind the five and seven. Oh, he put him behind the 10. And still got the two close to those other balls. Yeah, but this is uh, this is a little bit easier here. He's got a window kick into that top rail there, the side rail, right by the six ball. I mean, this is, uh, you know, I give Shane probably like 98% chance to hit this two ball. So, good effort by McCreesh, but Van Boning avoids the three foul. Oh, no. Can you see it? I think you can. Narrowly escaping right now. Keeping himself in it. showing on chops man going through going through this rack just as I was saying man he's no slouch he is showing us why absolutely dead stroke just going through the motions here connecting the dots it's not over yet. Kreesh gets another one. 8-5, Van Boning still leads. Oh, he needs something to go. Nah, another dry break. No look on the one, man. Oh, this is a tough one. What if you attack this here? What if you kick at this and there's an opportunity that the ball can go in? Yeah, I mean. I, off the six, I, yeah, but it's, the it's so dicey. I don't know. Uh, being down 8-5, I don't know if I'm doing that. I 
Yeah, I mean, if the if the four and the and the seven weren't tied up, it might be worth risking it for the biscuit if it, if it led to shape. But to your point. Yeah, Michael Gray, man. Yeah, we'd love to have Wilkie on uh, on the TV table. I'm sure we'll see him soon, as long as he keeps continuing to fire and win on the winner side. Of course, Wilkie, local uh, local pro here in Maryland, been around for a long time. One of my best friends. Actually, he played uh, Shane Van Boney a few years back, right before uh, Turning Stone and one beat Shane. So I know that he is, uh, he's definitely here trying to make some noise today, that's for certain. Saw earlier young Dylan Spohr over Brandon Shuff. So Brandon Shuff's over on the B side now. Look at the cue ball control here by Van Boning. Absolutely phenomenal. I can't tell if the four goes by the seven. I'm wondering if with the new cloth, if you might be able to, to slide that ball in. So he's looking at, he actually just looked to see if it went the other way, yeah. Hmm. So we can clearly see here a seven ball, just a tad in the way on the four. So that's that's why he's looking at it now because this is the shot. You know he's going to make the two, and then he's going to get into to the correct position. I think if he's above it, you're, you know, and if he doesn't get a good look at it, he can always play it safe. Uh, and certainly, if he gets in the perfect position, he can pot the four. I mean, Shane is definitely wanting to get out after McCreese grinding back a few games. Maybe, Look at this. Wow. He just may play safe here. He's going to just put him right on the seven ball. He's like, hey, uh, McCreese, remember that one time you tried a three foul me? Watch this. He's going to hit a little inside spin so it sticks. Oh, it didn't. He left a little room, so I think McCreese is going to be able to hit this. See, that's the thing when you're when you're doing those little uh, short safety shots. If you put a little spin on the ball, it actually comes off, and and you can get it to spin and stick right on the back of the ball. That's what he was trying to do. It just didn't get there, so he's left a, a little bit of a window here for McCreese to hit the ball, and he just hits it gently. Hey, hey, uh, Pope Francis, Brian Pope. Yeah, thanks, man. Put that up. We certainly appreciate that. Make sure you guys keep hitting that share button. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in this weekend. It's a two-day event here, 128 players. The Dynasphere's Cup 10-ball championship, $5,000 added. Exciting event, true double elimination, so. Wow, what a shot there by McCreesh. And this is why Van Boney wanted to close this out. Because Ryan is coming on strong here. starts finding a gear and then all of a sudden you make one mistake and all of a sudden three racks are changed in the score line and then definitely wants to close this one out. Dirk, I can tell you right now, uh, it, it, there's no action going on. Almost everybody is crowded around this arena. Oh no, he doesn't want this to happen. Look at this. Oh no. He draws it right into the pocket. McCreesh concedes. We got a good crowd over here enjoying and, and sweating the, the Van Boning match there, but unfortunately, uh, the SVB match is going to be over. It's going to be nine 
in Van Boning's favor to five with McCreesh. We're going to be uh, getting the next match ready for you guys. we got a good one coming up for you. It's going to be Scott Haas versus Brandon Sluzalis, previous Maryland State champion. Do you remember, uh, was it the eight ball that he won or was it ten ball? Man, he won, won two. Uh, ten, ten ball, eight ball, Sluzalis finished high in the nine ball. And uh, I thought he was going to win all three. So uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what he does. I really love watching Sluzalis on the TV table. So.